I knew God well. You are not him. Now my motivation for doing the film was a few things. Uh, one of which was, well, I, first of all, I just love making films, so it's just, just having the fun of doing that is the, always the first one, passionate about it, and uh, just enjoy the process of making films and, and having the result at the end. It appealed to me when um, I, I first heard about it because I've never been involved in any sort of action movie of this caliber in terms of, like, you, you think of diehards and all those stuff. I've never done anything like it, so it was uh, very enticing. I didn't know what to expect. I showed up. I actually thought it was a joke. And when I showed up, I was like, well, this is serious. And they hand me these lines, and I'm like, I've never done this before, you know, but I want to do it. Working with this crew, I like the crew. Um, I'm very confident and I know it's gonna be a good day. There's not one time where I dread going. Um, and it, anything's experience. I had worked with Randy, of course, and uh, Chaz on the previous film. Um, Randy, of course, was behind the scenes guy, but very comfortable with Randy. He has always had a positive attitude with direction and anything that he wants you to do. I've never had, I've never seen him in a bad mood or grumpy ever, and that's uh, rare. It is rare. I, I think in the movie business, I think a lot of people get frustrated easily, and I, at least if he did get frustrated, he didn't show us. I had done some projects back in 2013, and uh, with some other people, uh, Trevor had worked on, uh, Trevor Stiles, I had worked on uh, uh, his feature film and uh, another short film that I had written and, and directed as well. And we learned a lot uh, through making those films because honestly we are amateur filmmakers we're not pros by any means of the word but um, so we're always learning we had a lot of discussions about the way that we had filmed a lot of those films and, and the things that we had learned the things that we thought we did well the things that we thought we didn't do well and uh, we identified what a lot of the problems were and a lot of our strengths were and so I had said to Trevor at one point, I says, well, you know, we need to make a film where we can prove to ourselves that we learned from those past films and to apply what we learned to a new film. Now I know that you are some badass soldier in your spy espionage world. I get this, truly I do. But you're in my sandbox now, cowboy. And I have my very own badass soldier right here. And originally, the Rex character um, was conceived of as a southern uh, character, not uh, Russian. You see, I knew Carl Royal. You are not him. And, uh, you know, kind of a good old boy, but kind of arrogant and cocky and, and sure of himself. Um, and I think we stayed true to that idea of a character. We just definitely changed it. And how that came about was um, Bry actually surprised us. We were doing a, a read-through, our second read-through, as a matter of fact. Um, and I had left the room to take a quick break. And so kind of behind, the, behind my back before I come back, um, he had started playing with this Russian accent. And when I came back, he's like, hey, I, I got to show you this. You know, okay, so we let him read and he did it and he's like, wow, you could tell he still needed to work on it, but he was definitely, he definitely had something. Um, and I thought that was pretty cool. Ah. Um, in the fighting instance, I was more worried about him with me than me <laughs> with him in front of me. Cause he's a big dude, and Jim I know has had experience. I mean, the guy's you know, active army, and, and he's been in MMA and in the gym, and he's he's put some fists in some faces before. I know me, I haven't, so <laughs> I was more worried about him with me than than him in front of me. It was actually knowing that uh, he knew what he was up to um, gave me a little bit more confidence to to try to step up to his level as best I could. You know, I, I know Randy's got uh, things in uh, in his head that he wants to see on film since it's his uh, his vision. Um, but I like to add my little flair into it as well. And 
working with the guys, seeing how they move, um, what works, what doesn't work. That's what uh, I really like to do behind the scenes is it's, it's fun. So he's coming in and it's going to be, and basically he's going to swim with the same or let go. Mm -hmm. Bang. Yeah. There you go. So, there you go. That's just like that. Come back. Dan, kind of scared of that guy. He's a, uh, he's a, uh, he knows a lot. And me, it's like, I'm not used to not hitting somebody. If I'm gonna hit hit somebody, I'm gonna hit them. And in this, you really you can't hit them. So to learn that, I, it was it was odd. I've never done that before. And he was super good. I mean, we practiced a few days in the gym, hours, and uh, I, I got it. But it's still when you're gonna punch somebody, you want to punch them. But to miss, it's actually man, it takes a lot to miss, you know, because you're aiming for somewhere else instead of their face. And uh, it, was, it was interesting, but I got it. I, I had never done a fight scene before. And I tell you, after doing 30 seconds worth of a fight scene, it took you know a couple of days to shoot. So now I have a whole lot more uh, respect for any fight movie at all. <clears throat> oh. My end game, my end goal for this uh, film is to actually make IMDb credit on my own merits. Um, I ha my name is on IMDb for another project that I was on, um, but this will be the first one that I will be pushing myself um, as my project that I headed up and actually put it out there myself and, and, and have that happen. So that's uh, definitely a goal of my own for this film. <laughs> you know, it's like family. You haven't seen them for a while, and you come back and you hit it off. Everything's back to normal. You know, the jokes, the laughing, and then, you know, the new guys get in on it. Turnabout was a lot of fun. Um, we kept it light, and there was, wasn't really too many times where it was so serious that somebody didn't enjoy it. It wasn't enough goof around where you couldn't work, but it was enough to have fun, that's for sure. It's, it's like having a family reunion that you like going to, so everybody's so much fun to work with. I thought I was going to be super nervous, because I've never done anything like this before, and, but everybody was joking around, and they were talking about Fireball. And I was like, well, I'm saying it's so bad. So it was more like a, a comedy kind of thing until you were filming, then it was serious, but everything else was, it was awesome.